In this video, I would like to give you a brief introduction to the RStudio environment. You'll learn much more about RStudio as we work through future videos, but right now I just want to give you an overview of what it is you are looking at when you open RStudio. Essentially, RStudio presents to you four panes. The upper left over here, the upper right, the lower left, and the lower right. Now, your panes may be in a different order than mine because I have mine set up the way that I like them. So before we leave this video, I'll show you how you can reorder the panes to meet your own preferences. But for now, let's look at each pane in turn, and if it's in a different location on your RStudio, just find it, and everything that I say about that pane applies to that pane that you have, even if it's in a different location. So the first pane is called the source pane, and it looks just like a blank area where you could write something, and it looks like it will save whatever you write in a file if you want, because we see the little diskette, and we see here right now that this is untitled. And in fact, that's exactly what we do with the source pane. We put into the source pane any commands that we would like to give to R. Now, R is over here in this on mine. It's in the upper right pane. Again, it may be somewhere different on yours, but you can see it's R because it starts by telling you that R is free software and gives you some additional information. If I scroll up here, it actually tells me what version of R I'm running. We can give commands directly to R. If I want to add 2 plus 4, I can do so. But we can also put the command instead over in the source window. And so that when after we run the command, if we want to run it again or make any changes to it, we don't have to start all over the way we do in R itself. We can just come back and correct our errors and rerun the line. So for example, right now I have 2 plus 4. If I say run, it ran that line 2 plus 4. No big deal. But what if I, instead I had had 2 plus 4 plus 9 plus 11 plus 23 plus 31 plus 42 plus 7? And if I ran that line and after doing so discovered, oh, wait a minute. That wasn't supposed to be a 23, that was supposed to be a 43. I can come back and change it to 43 and rerun the line again just like that instead of having to retype the line in R. So almost always, unless you have simply a single line that you want to type, a single command, almost always we will put commands in the source pane. We can also take those commands in the source pane and save them. If I clicked on the little diskette, it would give me an opportunity to browse to wherever I want to save that source and I could save it there. I'm not going to do that right now because this is rather meaningless to me. But you'll have opportunities in the future to do that, I'm sure. The next pane, which is on my lower left, is the environment pane. Now there's also some additional tabs to give history of commands, a connections tab that I never really use. But I do use the environment pane because it tells me about any variables that I've created in my environment. So if, for instance, I want to create a variable called my variable, and I want to put into my variable the value 17, 
Well, once I run that command through R, you'll see in the environment that now my variable is shown as an existing value and it's shown that it has the value 17. So if I were to ask R, what is my variable? R wouldn't say, huh? R would say, oh yes, we have your variable and it is 17. So anytime we establish new variables, they will appear in our environment. If we wish to clear out our environment, we can do so by clicking on the broom and sweeping it all up. But because we might have a lot of variables that we're sweeping, R will give us a warning message to make sure that we want to do that first. And finally, the fourth pane is for two major purposes and a couple more minor purposes. One major purpose is to use it as a sort of file explorer where we can browse through folders and look at files. That's going to become very important when we establish what are called projects. And I am going to offer to show you a video about projects to learn about those. And if you are ever working in R, you're going to want to work with R Studio projects. The other important tab here is the Plots tab. But we don't really even have to think about the Plots tab because anytime we do any sort of graph, it will automatically become activated and we will see our graph down in this window. What we do have to remember is if we want to go back to files after looking at a graph, we have to click the files tab. Skipping over to the help tab, as it implies, this is a place where you can get help. So if you wanted to know what is the R command for finding the mean of a set of numbers, I can type in mean and R will actually give me the command along with a bunch of other information and some examples, probably more than you'll want. Uh, but it's very helpful for seeing full documentation on the command, the mean. Now I told you that I would show you how you can reorder windows if you want these panes. Um, first, let's look at resizing. We can resize any of them that we want. Notice that I'm resizing simply by putting my cursor arrow to the border of panes and then moving these panes. I also can minimize a pane or maximize a pane or put the pane back in its normal position. If I want to reorder the panes, I need to click on Tools, Global Options, and Pane Layout. And at this point, if I wanted to move my console, which is R, to the upper left, I could click on Console and notice my source pane would move to the right. And when I apply that, those panes have now swapped orders so that now my R is on the left and my console is on the right. Furthermore, if I'm dealing with the pane layout for the environment or for files and plots, I can switch those around not only wholesale, but I can pick certain tabs to put with each. So if I'd rather have the files tab with the environment, I click on files and it puts it with the environment. If I want the files tab back with plots, I click on that and it puts it back there. So you really can customize this based upon your own preferences. I would recommend that if you're just getting started, that you work with our studio and the defaults for a while and then start thinking about what might work better for you. But until you have experience, 
you probably won't know how you want to arrange those panes. So that's a brief overview of the RStudio environment. You can use it to great advantage when you're working in R.